so hello everyone in which I will be explaining about wireframes that are there in your UX and we'll see how we can create wireframes using wireframe.cc so before going to wireframes first you should know what is your UX your UX that is user interface and user experience are two interrelated but different design ideas particularly in the design of digital products UI design is the process of creating the user interface the buttons menus forms and other visual components that people interact with when using a digital good or service the objective of UI design is to produce an interface that is aesthetically pleasing simple to use and helps users to effectively do their tasks on the other hand UX design is concerned with uh, how a person feels generally when using a digital good or service from first learning about a product through the post purchase experience UX designers aim to make sure the customer journey is easy and rewarding in summary UI and UX are two related but distinct fields of design that are both important for creating effective and engaging digital products UI designers focus on designing the visual and interactive components of a product while UX designers focuses on creating a positive and meaningful user experience now we'll head to our topic that is wireframe so what is wireframe wireframe is a visual representation of the structure of a website or application it is typically created in the early stage of the design process to outline the basic layout and functionality of the user interface wireframe ui ux design involves creating wireframes that depict the user interface and user experience of a website or application this can include designing this layout navigation content placement and interactive elements of the digital product the wireframes are typically created using specialized software or tools such as sketch figma wireframe.cc or adobe xd so we'll be using wireframe.cc because it is an online tool for creating simple and easy to use wireframes and now we'll go to our tool that is wireframe.cc so when you go to wireframe.cc you can see a blue box that is that will be pop up here you can see the demo video something is there then you can see some uh, tools that we can use these all we will see later and there's option for free and uh, premium version that you can purchase then there's option for uh, free trial you can go for free trial for now you can give your username it is a unique username then email id and password to start your free trial so as i've already done that i'll directly go to the login so here i have logged into my account and wire on wireframe.cc so now it's premium for 7 days i have validity for 7 days now we can use it so here you can import any previous any of your previous work we're going to import wireframe and also you can create a new wireframe let's say we are creating a new wireframe like application so this is the ui of the wireframe.cc in this on the top left you can see different frames this is a free frame of the on which you can create a wireframe then there is desktop view then there is ipad view then there is mobile phone view then the option for creating more than one pages and then data you can link those pages as well then there is option for undo and redo then on the other side you have comment that you can hide or you can show 
then there's option for export then you can preview your uh, wireframe that you have made then there's option to save and there is settings in the settings many options are there uh, this is show grid uh, for now it's uh, this checkbox is on like you can see the grids are visible you can disappear you can make it disappear by unchecking this checkbox and uh, you can increase the grid size as well and a few more options are there and also you can increase the canvas size like if you are going from free size as you can see the frame size is very less you can increase this by going here you can increase the height now you can see it's it has increased now we'll create one wireframe let's see how we can do it let's take one outline frame this will be our outline inside we'll create our wireframe here let's see we have reserved this space for uh, image that later we can uh, upload here you can give let's say logo you can give your applications logo and uh, for now we'll make this as a login page and one more page we'll create that is home page and we'll link both the pages so we'll create one more thing here let's say this is your email okay then you can create one more like this let's say this is your password then you will have option for login and there is one more option sorry let's see yeah this is sign up so for now we have made this page and we'll call it as login page now also we can create one more page let's say that is home page in the home page we'll create one more frame in which let's say we have some content here any content you can give here and also you can add one more image there and uh, so you can give points and also you can give some comments as well you can write write anything you can write and also you can hide these comments you can, you can show these comments so this is how it works and now you can link these two pages which we have created now by going here let's say from login we want to go to after clicking on the login we, are, we want to go to home page let's see how we can do it go to your login click or click on link that is here then link it to home page so that thing is done now if you go for preview now if you click on the login you'll get to will reach to the home page so this is how you can create wireframes and you can link multiple pages in it and that's all that's it for that is all about wireframes and thank you everyone mm -hmm.